Well, what do you think, Valentine? Well, it sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. <laughs> I told you he'd understand. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, this is Perch, and we're going to talk about Skybound and their uh, their investment strategy here. Um, but it's it, look, if you're going to invest money, don't come to a comic channel, don't come to mine. Go to a place that's going to really explain what investing is. There's there's a number of different types of investments you can make. There's a number of different types of fundraising that companies can make. And when I say fundraising, I'm not talking about crowdfunding or anything you've learned over the last two years with Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or anything else. I'm talking about actual raising of capital for money that requires registration, that involves buying shares or buying uh, you know potential for shares if the company is purely private. It's it's it there's a it's a, it's complex. And I'm going to throw this out as one more bit of advice, and it's good advice, I promise you, uh, because almost all of you, if not all of you, can take advantage of this advice. So get a financial advisor. So, you know, you can spend a lot of money on a financial advisor, but you can also step into it at almost no money. In fact, several states in this country allow you a free first year. So, so basically, if you want to do this, the, you can write it off on your taxes. Um, if you're a member of Costco or Sam's Club, you have credits to a financial advisor that you can use that is either free for a period of time, usually about one to three years, or costs you things like, like $50 a year. Go get a financial advisor, especially if you're in your mid-20s, if you have some debt, if you're looking at your college loans, if you're thinking about starting a family. For the love of God, please go get a financial advisor who, if nothing else, will tell you this is what investments are. This is what it means to put money here. This is when you should be nervous about the stock market. This is when you shouldn't. It's information. Now, in full disclosure, a lot of these uh, these services absolutely will want more money from you. You can invest in them. They can offer you investment uh, strategies through their firm, and maybe it's a good idea. If you're just starting out investing, it's, it, it is probably a good idea. There's a whole scheme around buying, and I say scheme you know, lightly. It's legal. Um, you can buy life insurance, and you can write off life insurance on your taxes. It can be a great strategy for protecting your money. But anyway, if, you, if you're one of those people who goes on Twitter and like complains about the government taking too much taxes or or you're one of the people who goes on Twitter and says you can't afford dental care or something like that, for Christ's sake, get a financial advisor so you can actually have more money. So I got several emails about this topic and there are some videos made about it already for Skybound. Okay, so I'm going to give you some basic uh, background about what the Skybound thing is um, and then go, go dig for more. Um, the question is this, Dear Perch, I've seen some ads on Facebook recently about investing in Robert Kirkman's Skybound Entertainment. Looking it up, it seems to be legit, and Skybound has recently made movies in moves, sorry, moves into the video game space. What do you think of this? What do you think their plans are, and what effect will this have on the comic industry, if any? Well, thank you for the question. I guess many, many of you wrote in on this. Uh, it's been going for a while now. They first um, kind of opened this up in December to the public, but they've had a quiet period. It's not clear how long the quiet period lasted. Usually, usually before they would make an offering like this, they would go out to a small round of events, investors. Keep in mind, in the quiet period, there, you know, Kirkman himself can invest in it. It, it. There's really, especially in the format they're taking, there's a lot less restrictions around who can invest. So typically, as quiet period, people who are already friends, people who are already thinking about putting in money, put in money, and then uh, with that capital in hand, they went out to uh, to the market. But um, so the you know the too long didn't listen to the whole video. So I'll give you the summary up front. Is uh, no, don't don't do this. This is a bad idea. This is. <laughs> You are, you are not going to see a return on your investment. So uh, basically, first off, a one major point of clarification is that this is not a public company and this is not like buying a stock. You, you are not buying anything that's regulated by the Securities Commission. You're not buying anything that is, uh, you're not buying anything is, is, a, is long and short of it. Um, as much as a lot of the financial regulations are a pain in the ass and often manipulated, um, dodging them completely doesn't make them doesn't make it better. So uh, you know, in, in short, this is what's called an investment campaign, and it's being handled by a group called Republic. And Republic is 
for all intents and purposes, there's a lot of things that it claims to be. And again, there's a lot more details here. Um, Republic is crowdfunding. It's, it's in effect like Kickstarter, like Indiegogo. And basically what happens is uh, people come and they say, we want to raise money, but we don't necessarily have a specific product. The product is our company. So think about this as Kickstarter for a company as opposed to Kickstarter for a comic book. And uh, what happens is they, they structure this investment to look somewhat, but not entirely, like a uh, private company uh, offering to do a financial round. Now, a financial round is when a financial company goes out, or uh, sorry, a company goes out and they raise finances for that company. They say, we're going to raise $10 million. So in a, I'm giving you the super dummy version. So we're going to raise $10 million. In exchange for that $10 million, the people who put money in have first right of a number of things. You know, if you have enough money, you might get a seat on the board. If you uh, if you put in a certain amount of money, you're, you're at a preferred share option. So if, you know, the, the little company, the little private company is giving away shares to its employees, which is often what a lot of startups do, you know, the investors get paid out first. So here's, here's a way to look at it. Let's say a company raises $10 million and then sells for $20 million. Well, that's a return on investment. And typically what happens is that the people who put in the $10 million get their 10 million back plus a return. And then whatever is left goes to a variety of people based on the rules of, of what's involved in that company. If you were, if you were a company that raised 10 million and sold for 20, nobody inside the company, none of the employees would really get much of anything. So if you're getting equity and that's the return and you're not getting much now, if, uh, you know, it raised $10 million and then it sold itself for $200 million. Okay. Now, you know, the, the initial investor is going to get paid out handsomely, the CEO and kind of the people, the, the principals are going to get, get paid out. And then, you know, the, the employees are going to get some money. So that's, that's, that's a nice deal. In effect, what's happening here is, is, uh, you're putting in money into a company through a public, um, there are perks and you get a claim it, you, you own a part of the company, which in theory and paper you do, but there's nothing attached to that ownership. So one of the very, 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 very big fine prints here is if Skybound, which is a private group, if it is sold. So right now they have raised close to $12 million. It's not doing terribly well. Um, and let's say as an entertainment company, they would be looking for an exit somewhere around, I don't know, 450 to 800 million. That would be a, uh, a quality exit for this company. Um, there's no guarantee that if you gave them money in this, uh, this little, you know, Republic crowdfunded investment that you would actually get anything. There's no promise that, that any return, there's a kind of a, a general statement that you will, you know, you will put money into the company. Um, and you know, it's, it's backed by a VC firm. So that, what that means is venture capital came into the money, came into this company and brought money long before you. So if it's sold, they're going to get paid out faster. Um, they're certainly trying to play a number of things in entertainment. You know, they're into video games, like you mentioned in the mail, they're, uh, driving revenue. They're, they're doing a number of different things. And, um, you know, there's a little bit of funny wording here. The walking dead has driven over 10 billion in revenue and market cap gains. Sure, but not for Skybound, for a number of different groups, you know, for the television production crew that did it. And not all for the you know, Skybound didn't walk away at 10 billion. They wouldn't be, you know, none of this would be happening if they had $10 billion. So keep in mind, there's just, there's, they're, they're blending what Skybound owns versus the total value that the company has created over time. Not unfair, but it is an important point. But the key here is, you know, there's a number of different tiers. If you invest $500, you get, uh, you know, investor recognition on social channels. Um, you get put on a, uh, you get a lithograph, I guess you get to put, you get put on their website. Um, if you invest $5,000, you get a beer stein. That is absurd. I'm just, just saying, um, if you invest, if you invest 50,000, then you get a Comic-Con meetup with the Skybound executive team. Basically they're going to host a party and you're going to be able to meet them. Um, you know, and then it goes up from there, 250,000, you get assist with the creation of a new character in the skybound universe. All right. Uh, a half a million will give you a private dinner with a skybound universe creator, uh, Robert Kirkman and the exec team. Um, I, I, and you know, I get $2 million will give you what's called a red carpet experience in a future skybound film or TV release. You know, if one comes available, there's still one left, there's still one available for you there. Um, Look, what you're buying in effect, just, just for what it's worth, you are buying into an idea. This is in effect, 
like subscribing to somebody's um, Substack. That's in fact, you're, you're getting some perks. If you subscribe to a, different, a certain level, you're getting some money, you're, you're funding someone. But um, in terms of investment, if you, if you think you're putting money into this with the idea that you're buying shares in the company, and then if it's ever sold in the future, you're going to get a return. Um, number one, highly unlikely you will. The company actually has to vote and agree to turn these shares, the shares you're buying, which are not true shares. Again, they're not managed by security. So if the company decides to vote and say, you know what, we think we'll keep all the money and give all these people who raised here uh, absolutely nothing. Um, they can do that legally. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So, you know, if you're looking to, to as this as an investment, for the love of God, you know, go put your money into something else. I mean, put your money into Home Depot. People are going to be fixing up their house on their own rather than paying for contractors as we go into a recession. But um, don't do not do this. Um, if you just want to get closer to the company, if you want to say, you know, you love Skybound, you're a mega fan, and uh, you, you know, you want to you be part of it, you want to get your name on a brick somewhere in the office, um, that's what this is for. And, and cool, it could, it could be helpful. But in terms of an actual, like if you're investing into a company, it's, it's not, it, this is a, the, the, look, the easy way, this is a sub stack. This is a fancy sub stack. Um, now it's certainly possible, you know, Kirkman seems like a pretty good guy. Good for him. Um, he, uh, he and the, the executive team, the board may decide to take less of the money for themselves and share it with the people who invested here, you know, for a, public relations standpoint, it often looks bad if you don't, that certainly does happen. Um, you know, in a lot of cases, little startups don't have to share money with the, uh, with the employees, but they do. And, um, they, they do because it's just, you know, it's, it's, you know, the right thing to do. It's the ethical thing to do, the moral thing to do. Um, but unlike a company that is, that has shares and it's a publicly traded uh, entity that actually is managed by uh, the securities commission, um, this is a crowdfunded, uh, sub stack. Um, there, there is zero legal, there's zero, nothing, uh, that, that requires them to share anything. So just, just keep that in mind. If you want to go do it, uh, republic.com, you can search for it. Uh, republic.com slash skybound has all the information, the different tiers. Um, I think some other people will try and do this. I guarantee you some, some dumbass, uh, crowdfunder <laughs> is going to, uh, is going to look at this, go, holy crap, I could, I could raise $5 million for suckers with shares in my company. And you're going to see all these uh, little groups popping up to do this. But, uh, but you know, this, this is not a good investment slash could be a grift. Emotional damage, but definitely not a good investment. Anyway, <laughs> let me know if you have questions and thanks for listening. And then you can sell it. To who? Someone who wants one. And why would they want one? To have it and sell it. Right. Yeah, I think people just try to sell these for more than they bought them based on perceived value. Okay, you know what? This all sounds very made up and silly.